Oh my god. Okay, guys. Uh, oh my god. The Bob's Burgers movie is such a good movie. And I'm going to talk about it. In this video. That I made. Yeah, so the movie is about where a giant sinkhole appears right in front of Bob's restaurant. But not that... But not that either. Uh, they have freaking they have freaking seven days to make their payment, payment. But if they don't do it, well, Bob's Burgers is officially shutting down for good. But, but hold it, hold it here. Somewhere in the sinkhole, there is a dead body that Louise found last night, and in and and the dead body is called Cotton Candy Dandy, an old carny worker that that has been missing for six years so tina jean and louise have to solve the murder and find and find out who killed cotton candy dandy while bob linda and teddy are trying to raise some money out the wharf so so guys this movie is an absolute delight i am so so glad i saw this at the big screen and don't get me started on that beautiful animation. That animation, it, oh, it's so, it looks so hand-drawn. It looks so good on the big screen. Oh my god. I was smiling in the entire movie. Uh, they actually use some scenes for the for the cars and the building when they're kind of moving around. And it, I'm not going to lie, it doesn't really look that bad. Well, since it's a movie, they have to use some 3D in it. But it doesn't really look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. Um, I have to admit, Tina Jean's plot are not really that interesting in the movie. You know, Tina wants to confess her love again to Jimmy Jr. While, while Jean wants to become a wants to perform a music at the wharf. It's like then they're, they're not forgettable, but they're just the least interesting. The only plot I'm actually into in in, in the film is Louise just trying to prove her bravery, um, because of her ears. Uh, because you know the pink ear she wears, and Bob and Linda are also trying to raise some, trying to raise some money, uh, at the wharf of their mini car that uh, Teddy made. Oh yeah, by the way, do you guys want to know who killed um, the Dandy Cotton Candy Dandy? You guys want to know? Um, it was Grover Fishoder. Yep, him. The one who appeared in, like, in one or two episodes, the most least interesting character in the show, is the main villain, and yeah, he killed a person. He, he killed, he killed someone. It's fucking, that's fucked up. <laughs> but, and he wants to build a giant, better wharf, whatever. <laughs> his, his song was pretty funny, though. Greatest villain song of all time. <laughs> um... But all in all, I I really recommend this movie. It looks really good. It's so so good, and I'm really glad it's going to be streaming it soon. Uh, was it on July twelfth? I think that's when it when it's going to be streaming on apparently on Hulu. Um, but god damn it, god, this movie is amazing. Oh, the songs. Oh, just don't get me started on the songs. Ugh. Don't get me started on those songs. Freaking sunny side of our time, sunny side of our lives, and oh, my favorite one, the Lucky Duck songs with the Coronies. Oh, such a good, so good. Yeah, but all in all, um, yeah, really good movie. Um, also, Bob's mum actually gets revealed in the movie. Yeah, bye.